So here we have the Ford EcoBoost ZTEC on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. Uh, in the middle, we've got the fuel gauge and above that, uh, the total miles for this car, which are 13,558. You can change the information that's displayed there uh, by using buttons on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of trip computer information back round to the beginning again. If we're back out to the steering wheel, we've got stereo controls and in the middle of that, voice activation for the phone. So you can hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list, and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired it up, and that is done using the stereo in the center here. Hit the phone button and then follow the instructions on screen from there. We're not gonna do that uh, at this point in time. When it comes to music in this car, we have FM radio, as you can see. We've also got AM and then back round to FM again. So you've got two FMs and two AMs that you can save your favorite stations to. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player. This car's also got a USB input, as you can see. Uh, and uh, on top of that, you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you pair your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, you'll also be able to listen to your music as well. And we've got the main volume for the stereo just there. Beneath that, we've got the air conditioning. So on the left here, we have the fan speed. On the right hand side, the temperature. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed with this dial. That button turns the air conditioning off or back on again. And this one will recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set. So press that button, that's now recirculating the air uh, as we speak. We then have the five speed manual gearbox, 12 volt charging socket, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.